Good evening, everyone. In my first year as a graduate student, I was pregnant and in search of a doctoral research topic. It was my son who inspired me to delve into the study of mothers in archaeology, focusing on everyday women and mothers rather than queens and ancient goddesses. Finding them took years of research, excavations, surveys, and interviews. My fieldwork was in Lebanon, a small country east of the Mediterranean. There I excavated and surveyed over 30 healing shrines, founded and used by women <clears throat> and mothers for centuries. While they date back to earlier time periods, many of them are still in use today. They are public spaces dedicated to pregnancy and lactation, and although the majority are devoted to female saints, and Christian saints specifically, women of all religions visit them to pray and make vows. The shrines are mostly small structures, caves or rock shelters, similar to the one on screen. The caves and rock shelters naturally drip water, which believers use for healing. The water was often associated with lactation, and many of the shrines are called Our Lady of Abundant Milk, or Our Lady of the Breasts. These sacred spaces had never been studied and are missing from books and maps. My research resulted in creating methods in anthropology and archaeology for excavating and studying similar spaces. I also created a map project that will include on-site QR codes directing to Google Maps locations with crowdsourced pictures and stories. Finding these spaces was very difficult as they were not located on a map nor had road signs leading to them. They usually exist away from the village center and the only way to find them was to ask a local for directions. Needless to say, I circled the same roads and got lost on multiple occasions. Asking for directions quickly became part of my field work. I noticed that men either did not know where a shrine was or they were very uncomfortable with my questions. Women, however, greeted me with a big smile, but would quickly assume that I was seeking healing, would comfort me by saying, may your visit be accepted, may the Virgin heal you, light a candle for me. The warmth with which women greeted me glared in opposition to the men's reaction to my question. Shrines are open secrets to their communities as they are associated with superstition, yet to their visitors, they are religious spaces. They teach us that women were never disempowered and always found ways to build their own spaces. We have always been wet nurses, mothers, midwives, and healers. We have been creating generational ties and support systems within systems that didn't support us. My archeological research demonstrates that everyday women were indeed active agents in their societies, creating and maintaining their own spaces of physical and spiritual healing. Thank you very much.